Hey guys, GameWay3800 here once again, and I am back with my Illinois Area 51 M17XR1. Now, long-time viewers should be able to remember this computer. Uh, had many GPU flashing adventures from trying to get different video cards to look like different things so that this thing could possibly work. Is it F2 or Delete? Alright, looks like we're not getting any picture right now, so control alt delete. There we go. We're gonna go into BIOS and I will show you the issue. Um the issue with this machine is that after just a minute or two, um the screen goes blank and it restarts to a, another blank screen. I have no idea why this is, I don't know what could have happened, it used to work perfectly fine, but apparently the GPU itself is unstable, whether it's a flash, or not having its little slave card in it, where's that slave card by the way, no I lost the slave card, I uh, should have prepared somewhat for this video I guess, here it is, yay, I found the slave card. The slave card is an 8600 MGT that uh, doesn't recognize for whatever reason. I mean, it recognizes, but it can never show display. Uh, what I would do with it, though, is I would use it as a temperature sensor because uh, you may or may not know this, but um, the FX3700M in here, uh, Quadro card, uh, does not tell the temperature. The fan is just always on a static thing. It's a static set amount and right now it honestly feels like none or next to none. So that's what's up. Uh, maybe if I install this card it'll keep this, thing, this machine here running but right now it's actually doing a pretty good job of just not dying. So we're gonna reboot see if we can get into Windows without exploding very high probability of it exploding because the fan doesn't even feel like it's on. This machine hasn't booted up or even been, been plugged in for months. I know that's not good for the battery, but whatever, who cares. It's an old machine. And while this machine is... That's a weird smell. There's like hot dust. I guess that makes sense. It's been sitting around and now it's just getting air through it again. And while this thing is booting up, um, my M15X here is going to be getting an update. Now the M15X is notorious for dying hinges. I have repaired the hinges. Um, but if you look at it here, the bottom bit here is falling apart for whatever reason. It is missing a bottom foot here. And if we go ahead and open it up super carefully. Uh, the palm rest is all cracked and in bad shape. So I have a new palm rest with touchpad and new bottom base on the way. So that should be... Well, that should be a fun new project to work on. And then that machine will be completely done. It'll have all of its bits replaced, uh, new thermal paste and everything like that uh, put together. And overall it should be a great thing. I probably need to reinstall Windows 7 on this. And I do have another hard drive we can go ahead and throw in there as well to act as a game drive and there we go reboot it does reboot to a display but it did reboot for no reason that's the issue I'm faced with now I could do something simple and toss in this 8600 MGT which is what I'm going to do just to see if that's the issue and if it'll fix itself the other more likely issue is that 
the GPU flash I did like a year ago or whenever I last worked on this uh, did not stick for for whatever reason. Out comes the battery. Yep, no charge at all. That should still hold a charge. I believe it was in near enough new condition. Now we lost one screw here, apparently. I don't exactly remember when that happened, but whatever, who cares? Have ourselves a fan thing that may or may not go in nice and easily. I usually cut recording here because it takes like a minute of solid fiddling with this. Hey, I got it like third try. Yeah, that is a hot GPU. Um, if it restarted because of overheating, then hey, we might be in luck because with this acting as a temperature sensor now, we might get some fan activity from the main GPU. Uh, but if this, if this GPU is completely cooked, have no fear, I have a new one non-tinkered with by me. So that means that if this one is dead, we can just toss this one in and have it work right out the bat. So if the solution is throw more things inside of it, that will be quite good and easy. Let's see if that is indeed the case today. So before, the GPU was getting no fan activity. You couldn't hear it, you couldn't feel it, and you kind of smelled burning. <laughs> so let's see if having a fan, or the 8600 MGT working as a temperature sensor, let's see if it'll not die now. Also, I really don't like the hinges here. I might get a new back panel if I can. Come on, power up. There we go. Will you still get a display for us here? No, okay. Sometimes it does take a control delete reboot. And there we go. So it's going to want to start Windows normally. While that's going on, I will flip the screen on the camcorder. See that we have 16 minutes of recording left. Um, okay. If we need to, I record for longer than that, I will have to delete something. Uh, I went behind the camera for a second to show you that. I have this. This is the 8700 MGT that I got for the M50 next if I couldn't get a quadro to work in it. Now the the M50 next does have a quadro in it and it does work as a 90 as a 9800 MGT. Not feeling any kind of air going through that. I don't know why. But yeah, I have another oh Well, the good news is that there's air coming through the GPU now. The bad news is the screen's gone red. Why has the screen gone red? What has happened? My machine, no. Yeah, that's putting out not a lot of air, but the air that's coming out is super hot. Oh. What happened? Screen's blank. It rebooted. Let's see if we can get it to do that in the BIOS, because before I could get it to do that in the BIOS. I would really like to use this uh, FX3700M as like two 3700Ms in one machine, one as a 98, as a 9800MGT, the other as a 3700M. But apparently I am not going to get such liberties. We will let it sit there for a minute as whatever it's supposed to be. Come on. Razor blade to the rescue.
please dogs don't go woof I don't need that more razor blade for the more rescue well I admire the seller of packing this up nicely but I hate them for packing it up nicely if you know what I mean they did too good Oh my god. Alright, well the BIOS seems to be, well, doing a BIOS thing, as in it's fine. There we go. Free at last. I will try to boot into Windows one last time, and when that fails, we will go ahead and swap the 3700Ms and be done with it, hopefully. Now please screen, do not go red, I need you to stay alive. You have that, uh, 8600M GT is for whatever reason not cooking it. Um, I have the 8700, not the 8600. Come on, computer. Please no die. Don't die. bunch of old uh, thermal paste stuff here from last thing that was the X7200 there we go now come on please please just last me here like you can see it's just about wanting to stay working and then after just a minute on the desktop, it goes bye-bye. Also, why is the volume so loud? I don't remember having it that loud. Right, it's restarted again for whatever reason. So we're just gonna cut it here. I'm gonna delete some space, or I can just cut to having this getting installed. Let's just do that. I'll see you whenever this is about to be turned back on with this new card. All right, there we are. This is the new one, this is the old one. And this one was reflashed back to a 3700M, but maybe the instability of having it as a 9800M GT or a GTX 280M has done its damage. So we're just going to go ahead and install the new card. The new card has a fresh batch of thermal paste and brand new thermal pads. So yeah. There we go. And she goes. All right, let's put the panel back on. And then toss the battery back in and see if that will get us to be any more stable. I also did go ahead and throw in the other hard drive, so if it does work, I can immediately start throwing games onto it. Or, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Do we get a picture? 
we are looking for a good picture. All right, no picture, so reboot. I said reboot. There we go, we got a picture. Now, can we? Ooh, that's a good sign. The fans are already on. So, fit the windows. Can you do it normally and not crashy like? If it is crashy like, then I'll toss in the 8700 G GT. And we should. Well, that would make it have a fresh, brand new set of GPUs, completely killing the equation of the old ones for doing something bad. Because supposedly this is brand new. I don't think. I know I haven't used it. The listing was having it as new. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, who cares? That's for the other hard drive, I would assume. So come on, please boot up. If it does work, I will just format the other drive to keep it from bringing that menu up every time. Come on, we are looking for you to stay stable for more than a minute. <laughs> One minute, that's all we ask. Okay, I, I lied. We are actually asking for a lot more, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the thermal paste of this old GPU. So that if this a combo does work, I can just go ahead and resell the old one. Uh, it's not even working. Right, so what was it around this point when it rebooted for no reason? Just gotta wait and hope. So far, it looks as if it's not doing terribly. It's a miracle. Alright, these mouse buttons are terrible, but I don't think I'm gonna get a new touchpad anytime soon. The issue with this is that the touchpad along the sides is cracking. That's what makes it have a weird sound when clicking sometimes. Like that. That's cracking the whole thing. Cracking the palm rest. Okay. We've lasted longer than we have in like the past 18 reboots of this machine. So I say that is a complete mission success. This machine is up and fully working once again. Whew. It's been a stupidly long ride, but it seems to be working. I don't know why there's so many blank icons in the bottom corner here, but I suppose it'll fix itself on a reboot. Skype, get out of here. Die. No, I don't, please don't get a Skype call. Because I will not answer it. No, it was only for the hard drive, really? It didn't install the video card, but it installed the hard drive just fine. What? Really? Alright, it's going to want to scan and start that thing. Not now. Skype, where are you? Die. There we go. This thing is working thanks to a new video card. Only one new video card. We did not need to toss in the second one. Uh, that's the CPU doing all that noise. Okay. Um, mission success. That's a very rare thing when I have a mission success. Normally it involves like 1,800 failures before something works. But this time it only took the one, and that one being this. So yep, if you guys enjoyed this repair video of the M17X again, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gameboy. I will see you in the future.